Homem Bones. I hadn't seen the character on television before. Somebody who's living one life but inventing another. And I thought that was great because when you're a novelist and you're inventing and you're drawing upon real life, then it takes your mind into different directions. And we thought that Kathy was such a fascinating person. What was amazing about Kathy's real life is that she could tell that someone had been stabbed to death by the bones, even what kind of knife had done it. If a body's been dismembered, you can tell what brand of saw did it. I had had other offers um, to develop the books, the character, into either film or TV, and none of them was the right one, and my agent would always say, no, no, this isn't the right one. So when we had the offer from Fox, and, and uh, my agent said, yes, this is it, this is the one, we're going to do this one, that, that was very, it was very exciting, it was also a little bit scary. I have to get up early tomorrow. Why? I'm meeting the producer. The book really gave us the temperance burning character. That was the most important thing. Um, the book gave us forensic anthropology. The book gave us what she does, um, the varying degrees of things that she does, the different people that she works with, the different kinds of cases she works on. So the books were very valuable. Temperance Brennan, I'm reading your book. Gave me a few ideas if I ever want to kill someone and get rid of the body. Well, don't forget, Charlie, the heroin always catches the bad guy. I expressed my concerns about wanting to keep the science as honest as we can, as close to reality as possible, and they expressed their interest in also having this be a more character-based um, show, and that they would be welcoming my input on the science side of it. So I really was persuaded that it was going to work. What's it going to take? Full participation in the case. Well, you don't spit in my hand, we're Scully and Mulder. I don't know what that means. She was, you know, really important during the pilot because as Hart was writing, he would check with Kathy and we would talk to her about the character, about what an anthropologist would do. And then in the different situations that Hart would create in the script, we would check with Kathy about is this real, is this right, could we do this, could she be here, does she work this way. And Kathy's, you know, one of only 52 board certified forensic anthropologists in the country, so you couldn't go to somebody better. So yeah, she's been a great consultant, a great help, a great partner in this project. It's a TV show that needs research, not that they listen. The science is, is real. The science exists. Some of it's very, very cutting edge. But everything we put in there has a basis in truth. The thing that was most intriguing when Hart and I started out is that the crimes could be, you know, from two weeks old to 2,000 years old or beyond that. That forensic anthropologists are people who are brought in to tell you the identities or what happened to a certain person or civilization, um, group of people, um, genocide. Um, the work that they do is so fascinating. So for me, it was sort of endless stories, endless places you can take her. You know, there are times when you could find a body in a certain condition and it could be you think about one thing, but it's completely about another. Only she has that skill and knowledge to be able to discern that. So I think that makes her a really fascinating character. We needed three things from a lead. We needed her to be beautiful, we needed her to be smart, and we needed her to be funny. And we kept seeing people who were very good, terrific actors, who had two of those things. But no one had all three. And then um, I think Barry uh, heard from a friend about Emily. He had seen her in something and um, said that she was uh, someone he should look at. And she came in, and within moments we knew, oh, thank goodness uh, we had her. We were so lucky to get Emily. She is so perfect for the part. She's smart, and I think that's the primary reason, because she's playing a smart woman. And Emily's also, I think, pretty passionate about playing this part, and she's playing the part of a woman who's very passionate about her work and really gets involved. There's a lot of things about this project that appealed to me. I think the script was really smart and funny and um, the character had so many things going on. I mean, um, here's a very strong, intelligent woman who doesn't need a man to save her, who um, does her job very well. She's basically a genius IQ. Sir, why are you following us? 
Teeny Tempe has, has a few skills that Book Tempe doesn't have. Um, she shoots a gun pretty well. She's got the karate and the martial arts. Um, a few of my colleagues have sent me emails saying, you know, we didn't know that you carried a gun. We're in head, and you knew judo. We're going to be a little more respectful when we're around you from now on. FBI, U.S. Marshals. U.S. Marshals. Forensic anthropologist. That's why no gun. When I got the role, I chose not to read the books before I did the pilot because um, my character is basically, it's loosely based on Kathy Rice herself and not the characters in the book. During the pilot, I kind of took her side and I ordered all these books on the internet uh, about forensic anthropology textbooks and case uh, studies and different books like that that, um, that I use as references and that I've been reading since I got the role. She's trying to get the science right. She's always asking me, you know, can I sit down with you? Can I talk to you about, would she do this? Would she do that? So she's really trying to, to get it accurate. More adipose here. Let's get his dentals into the NCIC. See, her radius was separated from the scaphoid and trapezium. But racial indicators, cheekbone dimensions, nasal arch, occipital measurements suggest African-American. I'm getting an amazing education about the human body, especially the skeletal structure of the body. Um, so it's pretty cool. I'm not a sociopath. I'm an anthropologist at the Jeffersonian. She's good. Oh, she's amazing.